How to rename a shared parameter using ID Finlink as your data manager. We've had a number of customers ask us about renaming shared parameters. Um, so this video is a response to those questions. Of course, the real problem is that Revit won't let you rename them. Um, so what we're going to be showing is how we can take an existing parameter, in this case one that's called serial number, and take the data that's already assigned to serial number and map it to a new parameter called Kobe serial number. Um, we need to do that as the first part of our process because if we just delete the serial number first, uh, we'll lose all the data. So we, in this project, we have two different shared parameters and we're going to map the data from the old parameter to the new parameter. We'll begin by creating a new multi-category link and we'll give it a unique name and a description. This will let us access all the objects in this Revit file that have the shared parameters called serial number assigned to them to be accessed at the same time. You could also use the out-of-the-box sample link called Kobe Components, which is already set up as a multi-category instance-based link that might save you a couple uh, bits of, couple clicks and picks. Because this is a multi-category link, the first thing you'll want to do is review the list of categories and select any that are appropriate for the task at hand. Next, from the Properties tab, we can edit the list of properties that, that came along with the out-of-the-box link. We can delete any we don't need and of course we'll want to add in the two that we're trying to manage and we can use a text search to look for the word serial in order to add those. Next we'll export the data to Excel for easy editing and we'll make use of Excel's very simple formula, equals, and we'll place in the column E, we'll write equals F. And so that's just our way, our simple way of mapping the values from the existing parameter into the new parameter, which is called Kobe serial number. And then as we import the data back into Revit via BIMLink, we'll see the report that BIMLink gives us showing us all the data that's about to be changed. You can always make an archive of that import list if we want to. And then as we close out, we can, we can take a look at the schedule and we can see the side-by-side -side representation of the data, the old and the new. And now that we know that the, the data has been transcribed, we can successfully delete that old parameter without worrying about the data loss. So we'll go to the project parameters dialog and we'll look for our serial number, which is the original parameter. We'll select it and you know we're going to delete it. Revit's going to tell us that it's dangerous to delete it, but we're okay because we've mapped it over to the new parameter. So as soon as we do that deletion of the parameter, you'll see here in the schedule that those values um, will disappear. The, the, the header actually stays even though the property doesn't exist anymore. Using BIMLink to manage your shared parameter naming is just one of the many uses of ID8 BIMLink. You can learn more at ID8software.com.